I don't. I don't. I don't yeah, they're okay. They're they got. Yeah, it. you're good. Oh yeah, I forgot you guys can hear me. We need the pristine. There I'm you go. For it. Eh, eh, eh. No, just kidding. Uh, uh, uh. I know what you're waiting for. The I'm elegant shake. On. I'm getting you baited. And there yes. it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Keeps his adrenaline up. All right. I'm All right, not, I don't so blame you guys. I, I like to see the players also, and Elegant's are very, very, very expressive. Yeah, very animated. So, and it's so it's so fun to see. Yeah, gives a little personality behind this the name and the character. Nice empty landing there. Now he's gonna get his grab combo. I don't that think might be it. Wow, that's a dead. Yep, that's a dead peach. Oh, so I got an update. This is winners finals. It is. Raza and I on the way here. We carpooled together. He was. We were talking about Elegant. And we were talking about how we don't believe the Luigi zero to deaths work versus Peach and Ness. But um, I guess they do. Yeah, that might have been like one of the the altered versions, but yeah, nonetheless, he's probably beautiful. lapped out a different uh, different combo. Yeah. Oh. Hey, oh my God! These conversions from Elegant. Wow. I don't know which one I liked more, the reverse aerial up B or the Zare up B on the ground. Either I like, way, I like the aerial one because uh, I feel like the the grounded one is kind of like oh, you just kind of reset and do your kind of stuff like that. This one's kind of like a free flow kind of form combo and very reminiscent of like old melee stuff you know where you just kind of free free flow the combos yeah i feel that i'll tell you it didn't Still like it again. yeah oh my wow so that would have been normal damage for pretty much any other character for peach oh the shield is so low though for elegant now smash gets him off stage cyclone again elegant is coming out swinging right now and he's picking yeah, all the right doesn't have much of an answer for uh for these cyclones just that the fact that he took two stocks in a matter of a minute that's it wow wow that was that that was really fast so before you came on the mic i was telling the chat how we do have time constraints tonight we only have like an hour left before we lose the venue altogether and it yeah. happens we're on campus right now uci and shout out uci for everything they're doing but yeah uh unlike most, most venues here in socal we can't go until like 1 or 2 a.m so I was saying, hopefully we can get a quick winner's finals. As much as I love to see close sets, game th game five's last hit, if we can have a few more games like that, we might actually finish on time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Maybe I think it's crazy. It was like, uh, that performance was a little, domi a little too dominant. Yeah. Roswell will adapt to the this top player that he is. Taking over. I think he's just riding his momentum now. Especially after that second slot. He was just like, I I I what, do I get what do I do now? You know? Yeah. Literally blinked and the first few stocks were gone. Somebody clip that. <laughs> oh yeah. I'd like to see that on Twitter. That was beautiful. Now again took a small break, so it's cool to see him back playing and oh, yeah. very clearly playing at a got a good level. Yeah, I feel like he hasn't missed the beat. No, of course not. It's like riding a bike with some of these players. Smash is just one of those games, man. If you're oh, good, you're good. There's there. Oh he okay. missed it! He didn't have enough of the dash input, I think. And you see the mix up again, it's weird. When Luigi hits the platform, he doesn't fall right through. So we yeah. saw Nintendo miss a, a punish earlier, and then that time Razo tried to read him falling through, and he didn't. Oh, nice back air. Grab. Misfire. Nice fine. Oh, this nice hit. tech. And now he has to stitch in his hand. No, he didn't. No, uh, it was a just wink face, winky face. Beautiful tech, though. Yeah, I, think I didn't know it was a stitch. That was such good awareness. Okay. Oh, traded there. And the down B usually yeah. has that iframe, frame, but I think it's only in the very beginning. Yeah. So great back air from Razo. Now Razo with his first Just lead. Just framing him there. Wow, 70% already. He took him out of the Okay. Wow, Razo saw Elegant's first first game and says, "I'll raise you mine." Who did it quicker? Who took the first two stocks quicker? Uh, I think Elegant did. <laughs> Not by much though. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, because uh, Elegant finished the match by 6:30. Nice down smash, and he gets the strong hit, the second hit. So, all right, Elegant down a full stock. Razo's gonna get These punished. These zero to deaths are very real, and he know we know that they are free flowing. He can do them from anywhere. Yeah, dude, that early LP, like yeah, that was insane. I, I actually want to see that again. <laughs> that was so good. That was crazy. Oh, the fair drop zone. Oh, oh. the no tech. And Razo now on a last stock situation with a character that can explode a stock at any moment. Nice Up, catch, yep. and that's gonna be a stock. That's yep, that's it. Yeah. Nice edge guard. Just turn him down. That's it. Beautiful stuff there from Razo. And it's so scary how close that actually was. Yeah. And these guys are speed running right now. And this is exactly what we need. Keep it up, Razo. Keep it up, Elegant. I said, uh, the venue closes in two mi 12 minutes. Hold my game fuel. <laughs> 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 said Elegant. And then Razo said, hold my bottle of water. <laughs> that was a chance to Mountain Dew, sponsoring UCI Esports. That's it.
Yeah, I was just over at uh, Call of Duty Champs in LA about a month and a half ago, and they were they were doing the Game Fuel uh, sponsorship for that as well. It's so good. Yeah, I love it. It tastes really good, and uh, it doesn't have like I don't I don't believe it has like all the sugar and stuff that you see in other energy drinks. It's just a at little bit. At least not of a, as much. <laughs> I know it's caffeinated, and then it's got like some brain formula to help you focus, which is kind of yeah. cool. But anyway, back to Battlefield here. So they go. Oh, it pulls a stitch already. I'm scared. I'm getting flashbacks to Armada. No, the sh shield is wow. Oh my god, I almost broke his shield at zero! And that setup, he's probably usually shield pokes, but... I could not believe that didn't break... One, break his shield, or two, shield poke. Yeah, I'm not... sure how he got away with that, but... Oh, two frame with the down tilt! Wow. Oh, he's dead too! It's so unfortunate in this game for characters with subpar recoveries that they don't get their jump back when they get two frame. It really sucks. In Smash 4, you can get two frame all day, and then you get your jump back, it's okay. But yeah, good and stuff. Two framing is a really like deadly tool here in Ultimate. It is, and it is, especially versus characters that don't have great recoveries. But oh wow, the resets and trying to do his drone drop zone. Ooh, and that down smash had a get up. Not a great option, but Rosal's still alive. Up smash. Wow, that will so far DI maybe, but great up smash. Yeah. Even then, that's still kind of like a hard move to DI correctly, sure. especially when it comes out so fast. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. So now tied up here, two stocks so up. We can see Elegant with all these grabs. He's looking for it. Yeah, as he should be. But Peach is a character that can play anti grab so yeah. great. Yeah, especially since he has float. A lot of safe aerials on shield as well. But yeah, float. Float is a uh, float is life for Peach. Oh, nice air dodge actually. Can he make this back? Yeah, no. Oh no. Oh, he okay. saved him. And yeah, if Elegant actually Elegant might have been dead there if he if he didn't save him actually. So well, yeah. He would uh, have had to trade the stocks or just not run off stage. Yeah. After the air dodge, he was literally dead. Nice he read. Roll. Yeah, nice read. It might have been more of a like just reaction and, and comfort. He was waiting for the roll. It's like a soft read yeah. and good reaction. Oh, I feel like he was trying to stay at ledge there and just kind of down air him to fair. Just repeat, rinse and repeat. Unfortunate miss there, but you know, still, still holding strong center stage. All right, we all know Luigi wants his grab now. Oh, the platform actually is gonna mess him up here. Yeah, but he gets fair bear. Good damage. Dash attack. Razo kinda needs to do something here. It's getting scary. Oh, he's, yeah, he still hasn't taken the stock yet. Elegant still has another stock to play with. Good spacing there from Elegant. Throwing out the grab. Oh, he tried to do it. He tried to do the be out of shield, but unfortunately just reverse it instead. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, wait, the turnip actually helped him there. Yeah, he could've got a harder punish. Yeah. Maybe back air into the stage and maybe maybe make it untackable. Is it the percent he was at? Sure. Oh, but the Cyclone? Wow. Good oh, what? I, thought, I so thought he was alive. He might have... Alright, so in that in instance, you have to DI towards the right. He yeah, not away. He might have held right for too long. You know? Because he looked like he was alive there. Yeah, I really I think I th he was. I thought he was alive. I think there was an instance where he could have survived that. But either or, great job to Elegant. Taking game number three, going up 2-1. And that one was a little bit closer than the first two games. But, um... Yeah, Elegant doing a great job holding on to that second stock and, and getting that match, max rage cyclone. Alright, so I actually missed the stage selection there. Oh yeah, it's not a big deal. On the PS1, okay. And this was the stage where we saw Elegant get that strong 1 minute 2 stock. Both of them having really strong performances here. Oh yeah, I forgot Game 2 was also on PS1, wasn't it? Yeah, Razo had his, his turn in the sun. Nice recovery then, from Elegant. The peach, uh, the peach combo, the down tilt into imagination. Trying to cover so much space as the elegant just rolls through. Whose down tilt do you think is better at the ledge? Palu or Peach? Palu's last longer, but Peach is like, I get down tilt fair, I'm gonna kill you at like 80. And he can throw out like a bunch of them in a row. And it's safe. Yeah. Fourth throw, get him off stage again. He has a jump still. He has a jump. Oh, that, was, that was perfect. Oh, the turn again. Oh, wow, that was so good. He can make Z this drop again. Wow. Wow, nice edge guard. That is essential in this matchup, getting those Z drop turnips. It puts Luigi in such a bad spot. Down B. No. Oh, he gets, he gets the, the down, down throw. throw. Yep, he read oh, that beat. DI. Good stuff from Elegant tying it up real quick before Raza could get any extra credit. Yeah, both these players playing a really, really even game here in game number four. Make sure one doesn't really stamp too much of a lead on the other. Going through, it just feels like Elegant is kind of playing him in neutral just a little bit more up as I said that. Which <laughs> he's trying for these reads, you know? 
Like that's something like he's he's trying to get that that confidence going, trying to get build on that momentum. It's very typical of Elegant. He's a very like high octane player, high risk, high reward. And Luigi's a good character for that, so. Oh, he almost sniped him out again. Weird hit of the down tilt yeah, right there. Yeah, he sent him backwards from there. That was kind of weird. And Elegant's going to take that, get his stage control, but now... Just sent him on the other side of the stage. Wow. With all this control. Beautiful so much fair. space covered by that Peach Fair. Oh, but these Zerida dash attacks are just so good. Oh, this missed the grab. Bowser's kind of using these side Bs a lot more fluid, like, you know, openly in neutral. I feel like he's just trying to use them to get stage control, don't you think? Yeah, he also uses it at a height where it, when he lands, there's no lag. So, sometimes it's a bait. Good anti-air. Oh, it stopped! It stopped the Cyclone! Yeah, that was an interesting clank right there, and then Elegant started mashing jab. Good shield from Razo. He had the grab. Falls out of the dash yeah, attack. If I'm Razo, I do not want to give up the stock. Good DI. Nice recovery. Down smash. Oh, wow. I don't know if he has a jump or not. He's going to air dodge. Just sniped. That's maybe it. He, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. He was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going out my own. I'm going out on my own terms. <laughs> yes. All right, game five. Game five here in winner's finals at the UCI Esports Conference 2019. Elegant's counter pick here. We saw Razo win two games on PS1. Elegant won one on Battlefield and one on PS1. I feel like a lot of I feel like a lot of Elegant's momentum is kind of being stopped here. Like he had a strong opening game one. It's and been then more game honest two since. Kinda, game two kind of iced him out a little bit. Game three, yeah, also like got a little bit back, and then game four kind of iced him out a lot. Feel like a lot of the stuff that Elegant was looking for kind of got stuffed. He's just like, you know, what did I do here? And so it's like he's not playing with that that kind of like that fire in like game one. But all it takes is like one conversion, you know? Going to Smashville. All right, we haven't seen Smashville yet in this set, and this is Elegant's Jeez. choice. Um, I do know Razo and Peach like this stage, so let's see how it plays out. We've seen multiple two stocks in this set, like multiple two stocks going yeah, both ways. So whoever whoever just gets the early lead down here in game five is gonna be a pretty big giveaway on like who's gonna take the take the set. Yeah, if things continue to go how they are, but we might just see a game five last hit, last stock. That's always exciting. Yep. Oh, goes for another coming down. Wow. Oh. Oh, Peach Toad came in, coming through and actually just came with after the Cyclone. Yeah, that was unfortunate for, for Razo. Elegant with the early percent lead, but nice spacing there, punishing that Zare. Okay. Oh, trying to chase him with that dash attack. Yeah, I think that air dodge was essential. Yeah, it caught him all the way to the ledge there. Oh, cover the jump. How does the Razo agree to just air dodge? And I think this is a problem for Elegant here. Again, we've seen this situation so many times where Razo's just getting him offstage at disadvantage and he's just coming in and he can't find an answer to come in. It's like, you know, he found it there, but it's very hard for him to come in. We see it multiple times throughout the set. Like right there, he just gets grabbed and he's just, now it's a reverse edge situation. Oh, catches this turn up and gets the fair with the same input. Razo takes the first stock. Will he get extra credit? Whiffed up B, or up smash, sorry. And there. Not gonna connect to yeah, anything. Weird BI it. again. I wonder if that's because wow, nice stuff from Elegant. Up Immediately there, getting up, that up smash. Out of shield. Yeah. So good for his Peach. You know she wants to float around. Just really good in general. It's super. It's invincible on its head, uh, tangible on its head, and it comes out super fast. Really strong. And it covers a big uh, range around him too. And these these edge guards from Brazo are just doing so much work for him. Oh, the side B is there. Actually caught him on the side B. Oh, miss spaced out of the counter. That's so good. Alright. I think it gives up the ledge trap. Good roll from Razo. It's so scary to roll sometimes, but it's essential. Yeah, some you can use it as a mix of like you haven't done it at all. It's just like, oh, they're just covering another option or habit that you've been doing. Yeah. And you just do it roll. It's just like, hey, I get free stage control. Or a reset neutral, either one. Even at the highest level of play, you have to do the noob option sometimes. Yeah. 
gonna punish the dash attack, and now scary situation for Elegant. Uses his jump, going to grab the ledge. Nice jump into the air dodge, runs right into that fair. Luckily for him, not a sweet spot fair. Catches the turn up. Now here's the ledge drop from Razo. Gets the forward another, throw. Another edge situation here. Stitch face. Oh, stitch. Yes, he caught the stitch face. Yeah, threw it back. Crucial. And the Cyclone not gonna kill wow, this time. Look at the percents from these two players, and they still have another stock oh, to play to with. With the drop zone. Down Damn, smash we'll gonna it. do it. So ballsy of Elegant to go off stage versus Peach. One of the hardest recoveries to actually uh to stop. Cyclone, like, oh not, not the good DI. Did not DI that well. That's gonna take a stock. Last stock here, game five in winners finals. I think we called it. I think we're getting that last hit situation. And yeah, perhaps. They've been playing super even thus far. Yeah. Especially in this game five. Yeah, compared it's to the other games. Yeah, the other games were much more of one-sided, whereas this game is much more of, like, they're playing neutral and they're being very um, kept in pace with one another. Right. Razo getting the early lead. Catches both turnips! Beautiful stuff from Elegant. He's juggling both of them. The dash attack. Oh, the grab. Okay, down throw. Trying to go for it. He, he went wanted for to mix a read, him up. He yeah. uses the cyclone to get out, but he wanted to mix him up there, try to get the kill. Dire situation here for Elegant, and it's oh, gonna the turn of hit him off on, on stage. And Wrong he lives. Way. He lives again. This is literally last hit. Elegant can get an up the out of nowhere. We've seen it time and time oh, again. There. Oh, he's so close to the blast zone. Yeah, that was scary. The eye. Another stitch face. That's it. Oh, that's it. So I didn't know this going into Ultimate from Smash 4. Razo explained to me how it used to be one out of every 500. That was the the uh, the chances of getting a Stitch Face, a Bomb Bomb, uh, and a Dot Eyes. Ask me what it is now. The chances for getting one of those.